colony of folks known as the Mole People, made up of homeless vagabonds and others who have withdrawn from society, have a legendary place in the New York subway system. While many inhabit abandoned and forgotten substations and tunnels, others have even more creative living quarters. A token booth clerk on the job ten years ago recalled a somewhat spooky morning break he had around 4.30 a.m. in the Bowery station back in 2000. It's a scary station and especially at a time when there was no one around, he said. Just the bums and the junkies going in and out. They would just do their business and then they'd leave, but some people were not coming out. When the clerk went down in the station to investigate, he saw no one around. Moments later, he heard a noise and happened to look up. Overhead were cartons and boxes tied to the subway station ceiling with people living inside them, like mole people, bats. There was a whole community, he said. While New York City has been on an ongoing mission to clean itself up, there is no way it could ever reach all the subway services and canaries. The token booth clerk summed it up. I know there are still communities down there, and I know there will never be none. But two weeks later, I had to go and check the same place again to see if the junkies and the mole people had moved on. One person fell down out of the box holding what looked like a baby. The only thing is this baby didn't look like an ordinary baby. It actually looked like a mole. Pink eyes, claws for nails. This is a problem we need to sort. Well, that is a creepy ending, I suppose, if you call it that. Creepy knowing that they're living under there. Um. Well, anyway, guys, I've not done a ghost story. This is more of a creepy story, so I hope you enjoyed it. Um, please like, please subscribe, and uh, stay tuned for more. Don't forget to follow the crow.